says he's not getting us. Yeah. Must be something in the uh, YouTube connection because it's 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 streaming. See. But he can't find you, right? Uh, he can't. In other words, he can. Since they hadn't used it in a while, they probably got to have another. Yeah. Okay. It's something on the area and then. Mike check one, two, three, four, five.
That's brick. Just use that phone.
Okay. And good evening, everyone, and we welcome you here to Joe F. Shepard Gymnasium on the campus of Leak Academy here on uh, Madden, Mississippi, on this wonderful Tuesday evening. And uh, glad to have you along. Happy New Year to everyone. And if you uh, actually thought that uh, turning the calendar over to 2021 was going to end COVID and all these other issues, not as we've already had uh, two issues here in games thus far, this being the second one as East Rankin's Lady Patriots unable to play tonight because of a quarantine COVID situation. So we go straight into the boys. Uh, the Both the junior high teams won impressively over East Rankin. And now uh, we got a whistle on the jump, and I think that's going to be a violation. Nick Sprayberry, uh, I think, uh, was jumping center and after it was tipped, caught it in the circle. So... Uh, that's a, a violation back to East Rankin, and we're underway here in this boys' contest. We'll give you the starters here just momentarily of the ball game. Glad to have you along. We do have the stream up, and East Rankin hits the basket right off the bat as Turnage scores the first basket of the ball game. Full court pressure against the, uh, as the against the Leak Academy by East Rankin. Now the ball tipped around. It'll belong to Leak Academy's Rebels. For Leak Academy, this starting lineup tonight, number 10, Nick Sprayberry, number 15 is Whit Welch, number 23, Clay Kemp, Garrett Dunn is 35, and 14, Reed Young draws the start of the ball game. We'll give you East Rankin Patriots starters here momentarily. Young from way outside, off the rim, no good, tapped around and out of bounds off of Dunn. It'll be Patriots basketball. For the Patriots, they started this group. Brody Riles, number two. Stevens Bulger, number five. Preston Turnage, 11. J.T. White, 15. And 33 is Lawson Woosterfell. Missed underneath, tapped around, and coming out with a rebound is Welch for Leak Academy. Again, our stream, video stream is up. Had a little uh, connection problem with our YouTube supplier, so we've got everything going now. And, uh, of course, that's brought to you by Prince Oil Company, and the Junctions. And thank uh, Philip and the Prince family for sponsoring that for us this season. Shot out of the corner by number two, Riles, is a three-pointer, and it's a 5-0 Patriot lead here in the ballgame. Leak Academy did pick up uh, a win right after uh, the holidays, defeating Lamar in a uh, district ball game. They'd love to get another one here tonight. Kemp moves the ball to Dunn. Dunn working from the right side. Drive inside. Lays it up and in. First basket for the Rebels. He's ranking quickly into four court. First quarter action here. Again, we will not have a girls matchup tonight. Fouled underneath as Leak double team. We'll see which one of those uh, they going to go with. Young on the foul. First foul on Reed. And of course, the first foul on Leak. Free throw is good for East Rankin. 6 2 ball game. East Rankin with a four point lead with another free throw coming. It's up on, on its way and then also good. Two free throws by Bulger. Again, they'll apply backcourt pressure. Leak able to get it into forecourt. Kemp handles the basketball, drives with a nice step through on the lane, misses the shot, and Sprayberry with the rebound tries to go back up and draws the foul. So Nick Sprayberry will go to the line for shoot free throws for L.A. The foul, uh, foul is on Worcesterfield. Sprayberry sinks the first. Leak Academy girls, by the way, still rated uh, Sprayberry with both free throws. Still rated as the number three team in the uh, state as far as MAIS teams are concerned. Only follows Pillow and Prep. Miss shot controlled by Dunn for Leak Academy. Kemp goes to Dunn right wing. Dribbles it back to the elbow area and now 
gives it out on the wing and uh, bring out top for Kemp who misses the shot from three. Here comes East Rankin pushing it quickly. Goes to the free throw line, brings it back outside, left wing, shot in, out, no good. Young claims the rebound. LA will push it into four court, trailing by three. Outside, shot on the way from Welch is a little long, no good. Tapped around, Sprayberry, put back is good. Now Nick Sprayberry working hard on that rebound, tipped it to himself. Now steal by Kemp and uh, drive down the lane and we got whistles and we got a foul. It'll be a two shot situation. Foul is gonna go on Bulger of East Rankin. Chance to tie the ball game. No good. Dunn, Garrett Dunn at the line. Second free throw on the way is good, and that ties the ball game. Three points now for Dunn. 7-7 seven, seven ball game. 432 as they cross into four court. Uh, nice clean steal, but uh, one official claimed he saw a foul. Kemp gets the uh, the foul, his first. He's ranking quickly into the left corner for the three is no good. Uh, looked like maybe a push off on the rebound and now uh, Sprayberry is gonna pick up a foul. His first, looked like uh, number five, Bulger pushed Sprayberry a little bit from behind in our viewpoint, which is uh, a good viewpoint. We, uh, of course, setting up a little higher than anyone else here in uh, our crow's nest situation here. East Rankin, base basketball possession, 7-7 seven, seven ball game. Crossover dribble goes to the right side, now brings it back to the top of the key. Shot from three is no good. And again, looked like over the top by East Rankin, and boy, the fans didn't like that. The uh, Bulger again came over the top and didn't get a foul call, and now a two-point basket by Riles puts East Rankin up by two. Kemp behind the back dribble gets away from pressure, gets it into four court. Goes to Welch in the corner, he'll shoot, no good. And now finally get an over the back call against East Rankin's number 11. Turnage with a foul, his first. Here comes five new uh, substitutes in, we'll get you those strength on the floor. Uh, Gunner Scott. Let's see who else we got here. Parker Thomas checks in, Dabs. Dabs is gonna shoot it from outside, leaves it short. Scott tried to save it, threw it against the back of the backboard. It'll be East Rankin's ball. And the other uh, player in is Hagen Davis. So I think we've got all the uh, substitutions. Coach Phil Shepard using a five for five substitution rotation. Driving in with a little floater is good by East Rankin's Bulger. His first basket from the floor, he has four. Strength pulls up, now gives it off to Thomas. Thomas will drive in the lane, drive through the lane and lay it up and in. Parker Thomas with a nice basket. And we got a 11-9 ball game. East Rankin with basketball possession and a two point lead. And now we got uh, contact underneath. A foul is gonna be called on Leak. I think it's gonna go on Dabs, and it will. Henry Dabs, his first foul. Shooting free throws for East Rankin with a two point lead. I believe that's uh, 15 into the line, JT White. Free throw on the way is off the back of the iron, no good. Now here comes four substitutions in for East Rankin. See who we got in now. Number 31, Davis in. Uh, 32 is into the ball game, which is uh, Winstead. One free throw made, and now another substitution in. So they also have five different players on the floor. White made one of two from the free throw line. 
and it's a three-point ball game, 12 to nine. Davis gives it outside to Dabbs, back up to top to strength for three, no good. Rebound belongs to number 33, Wusterfeld. And a late try at that steal by Parker Thomas has body contact and he draws the foul. His first foul in the ball game. Five fouls on LA. That was a walk, no call. Air ball, Dabs pulls it out. Gives it to Strength. Strength is gonna slow things down a little bit. Dribbles to the left with his left hand. Now at the Dabs up top, he'll shoot and boom, scores it. Henry Dabs for three, and we got a tie ball game. So Dabs from the top of the key for three. Full court pressure by LA. Dabs got his hands on it, knocked loose. Strength. Well, Strength was standing up, and they call him for uh, traveling with a uh, defensive player around his ankles. Outside, open three for East Rankins. Off the front of the iron, no good. Dabs hauls it down for L.A. 144 left in the uh, first quarter. In the corner, Davis takes a dribble and shoots it from about 16 and is good. Hagen Davis with his first basket. And L.A. with their first lead of the ball game with a minute and a half to play in the first, 14 to 12. Drive all the way in, shot blocked and rejected by Scott, but he can't control it. It goes out of bounds, but they say it's off of East Rankin. L.A. basketball, and they'll get it in. Long pass down to Parker. Thomas drives in from the right side and lays it up and in. L.A. by four. And ball tipped up in the air, but East Rankin able to get control. To the free throw line, lost his dribble, picks it up. Now he'll move it right side slightly. Now Parker Thomas went for the steal, didn't get it. They say he tipped the basketball. East Rankin able to control it in backcourt. And now they're going to have an offensive foul called on Colton Taylor of East Rankin, his first. L.A. basketball at half court. He'll inbound it to strength. Gives it to Dabbs, he'll fire long range, but leave it just short. Rebound claimed by Woosterfeld, and he got rid of it as he was falling down. From the left wing, another three-pointer is good, this time by Elijah Vining. Vining with a three. Long shot, Leak Academy answers with a three. And that's Hagen Davis with a three. Five points for Hagen. L.A. up by four. Ball loose, taken away. Gunner Scott has it. And we got a foul called on 32, trying to take the ball away with 11 seconds. Winstead with a foul. Strength, 10 seconds, gets it into four court, keeps his dribble. Now dishes the last moment to Scott, who will lay it in on the baseline. Gunner Scott with his first basket. And that's the end of the quarter as the ball got loose. After one quarter, Leak Academy 21 and East Rankin 15. Back after this on Boswell Media Sports. Get top dollar for your timber and the least possible damage to your property with Welch Forest Products in Union. Professionals in forestry care, management, and cutting. Welch Forest Products provide final harvesting, pine plantation thinning, and site preparation and care. They buy land with or without timber. Welch Forest Products. Call Bo Welch at 601-774-8200. Welch Forest Products in Union. Timber! Stay warm, but stay safe with that heater. A space heater provides temporary warmth in a limited area, but improper use of a heater poses a fire risk. Turn it off when you leave the area and never go to sleep with a space heater on. Think safety. Central Electric Power Association. Serving you since 1937. 
This institution is an equal opportunity provider and employer. Boswell Media Sports. And we bring you back here for the second quarter. L.A. will have basketball possession, leading it by six. And we're underway. Strength still in the ball game. The second unit of substitutions still in this ball game. Davis bounces it back to Strength. Strength now gives it to Dabbs down the left side and lays it up in the end. Henry Dabbs with a nice move, got the inside position on the defender and lays it up off the glass. Uh, we got a whistle outside and he carried the basketball. East Rankin with a turnover, number 15, JT White accused of carrying the base basketball off the dribble. 23-15, strength into forecourt. Flips it over to Thomas. He'll skip a pass to the free throw line. Dabbs up with a shot. Good. Henry Dabbs with another basket. And a steal by Parker Thomas at the other end. He'll lay it up and score. Leak Academy, after trailing early in the ball game, has put on the blitz here and now leads it by 12. Bounce pass through the lane. Shot partially blocked by Dabbs, and uh, it's going to be off of him, they say. It'll be East Rankin basketball underneath the goal. Throw in on the baseline. Comes all the way up top. Now they give it in the lane. Turn around jumper. Rattles and goes. Turnage with a basket. And it's a 10-point L.A. advantage. And Leak loses it over the end line. Davis can't handle it. Looked like the ball was tipped coming into him and then uh, went off of his hands and he couldn't retrieve it. He's ranking with a stop and jump shot, no good. Strength, rebound, now long pass down to Parker Thomas. He'll lay it up and in. Parker Thomas now with eight points in the ball game. And a block shot by Thomas Strength. They'll give it back to Strength. No numbers there, so they'll pull it up. Now goes down to Scott underneath, and he is going to be fouled and lays it up and in. Gunner Scott used that uh, good strength in his body and laid it up and in. He'll count the basket. He'll shoot one free throw. Foul went on Riles, missed the free throw, tapped around, Dabs got it. Goes back up with it, misses it. Gunner got it again, and he's going to go back to the line as he was fouled. So Gunner Scott goes back to the line again where he just uh, just missed the free throw. Number 15, White gets the foul, his first. Gunner with the free throw, good. Five points for Gunner Scott. Woosterfield back into the ball game for the Patriots. Scott off the back of the iron, took a couple of bounces on, and now Woosterfield gets the uh, rebound. He's ranking quickly down, and now a shot up, and they going to call the foul on L.A. on the shot. It's going to go on Parker Thomas. Two fouls now on Parker. East Rankin will shoot a couple of free throws here. Rattles and got it to go. At the line, Turnage. Five points for Turnage in the ball game. Second one on the way. Rattles no good. And Gunner Scott rips down the rebound. Thomas pulls up the dribble a little short of the goal. And now Hagen Davis fumbles it out of bounds. Another turnover by the Rebels. 32-18 score, L.A. in the lead. Ball at half court. Now they'll send it in a diagonal pass across and back into the lane, and Woosterfeld underneath will get the uncontested goal. Now Dabbs tries to answer, and boom, makes it. Henry Dabbs with a three, and he's got 10 for L.A. 15-point advantage leak. And the forecourt, Patriots push it all the way down. Now looking for help, back up to the top of the key, long three. 
Rattles no good. East Rankin with the rebound. Back to the elbow, and that one's an air ball. And out of bounds to Leak Academy. Dabs will trigger on the baseline. Now we got a timeout allowing one of the East Rankin players to relace up the shoes here. All the East Rankin's players wearing a, a kind of a fluorescent orange shoe. Full court pressure. Diagonal pass into full court to strength, and now he gets it to Davis. Has it knocked away, but controlled by L.A. Parker Thomas dishes it down low, and Henry Dabbs puts it up a little hard. No good. Scott on the rebound. Put back is good. Gunter Scott with a basket. And L.A. with a 17-point advantage. He's ranking bluff the drive. Now gives it open three and no good. And Dabbs comes down with a rebound. Well, this group uh, five in there has rebounded the ball really well. Up top to Dabbs. Dabbs gives it down in the uh, low block and now shoots it off the pass back to him. Thomas receives the uh, rebound and now strength for three. Thomas strength with his first basket and it's a trough. A ball loose momentarily. East Rankin gets it back up. And with a basket is Turnage. LA 18 point lead, 40-22. We go under the four minute mark. Give the ball over to Davis. He'll fire and boom. Hagen Davis from three. Well, it's uh, raining trays here at Joe F. Shepard. Pass up to the half-court line, and East Rankin split the defenders, misses the shot, however. Looked like it was gone down, and then it came out, and Dabbs got the rebound. L.A. in trouble in the corner. Now finally gets uh, an outlet pass to Thomas Strength. Strength's going to fire long. Off the iron, no good. East Rankin with a left hand, no good. Uh, L.A. had a chance at that rebound, didn't go for it aggressively. Now, going to be knocked out of Dabbs' hands over the end line. It'll be L.A. basketball. Inbounds comes to Thomas Strength. He'll push it into full court. Into the corner they go. Davis for three off the iron, no good. Dabs back up, bangs it home. Henry Dabs now with 12 points. Long pass down the floor. Now they'll skip the pass on the baseline. Give it right back on the right side. He'll bluff the shot, give it outside. L.A. in a man-to-man -man defense. Drop pass down on the low block. Fumbles it momentarily, got it back. Now the pass outside, drive inside, no good. Gunner Scott gets the rebound. L.A. in the forecourt. Gives it to Dabbs. He'll fire off the iron. No good. East Rankin rebound and possession. And we got a backcourt foul. Foul went on Davis, his first. And everything is a one and one the rest of the uh, second quarter. J.T. White shoots free throws. Makes the first, earns the bonus. White has two points now, all from the free throw line. And he'll make the third. Rebels with a basketball, strength comes and gets the ball. Got full court pressure and back court just on him. And uh, strength is going to try to get some uh, room there. And he kind of ducked his shoulder and head and kind of bumped into East Rankin. And it's going to be a offensive foul. Thomas Strength. First foul. Now Steele, and they say he stepped on the line. He went on and completed the.
shot, but it's uh, East Rankin's basketball. Backcourt pressure by L.A. They'll get it into four court. Right side, 10-footer, no good. Rebound, East Rankin put back is good. And a backcourt foul against East Rankin. Number two gets the foul, Riles, his second. Strength at the line makes the first. He'll learn the second. And uh, the five player switch here as uh, the five that uh, started are going to come back in the ball game if Strength can make the free throw, and he does. So Strength makes two free throws. Gives LA a 21 point advantage here with a buck 40 left in the second quarter. No pressure this time. East Rankin walks the ball into four court. Bounce pass to the elbow, dishes it off, and a three point shot is long, no good. And East Rankin gets the loose ball, throws it away as Kemp is going to steal it away. Kemp dishes it off to the last moment. Sprayberry had a trouble getting control of it, but that step back jumper is good. Nick gets two. East Rankin at the top. Moves it on the left wing. Bounces it out back to the top. Just inside the three-point arc. The shot is good from Riles. That one's about a 18-footer or maybe a few inches more. Kemp with the basketball, going to push it outside. Whit Welch drives in through the lane, puts it up with a right hand, can't get it to go, and here comes East Rankin out with 35 seconds. Now they'll whip a pass all the way across the floor, and now the pass is uh, going to be saved back from going across the half-court line in the backcourt but L.A. with the interception. L.A. looks like they'll play for the last shot with 18. Kemp with the basketball. Now he's going to take it early and uh, miss the shot. Ball knocked loose by Whit Welch, but re-controlled by East Rankin. From the uh, baseline corner, no good. Done with the rebound, and that'll uh, run out the first half of play. A good half by L.A. 49-28, Rebels lead it here at halftime. We'll be back after this on Boswell Media Sports. The year-end sales event starts now at Marshall Ford, your small-town dealer with a big city inventory. It's a savings grand slam at Marshall Ford. Number one, customer cash rebates. Number two, historically low APR. Number three, trade-in assistance and cash rebates. And number four, year-end pricing. It's never been better as Marshall Ford closes out all new 2020 trucks and SUVs with a savings grand slam. Shop the year-end savings event at Marshall Ford on Highway 16 West in Philadelphia or online at marshallfordco.com. All won't qualify for low APR. See dealer for details. What's stopping you from shopping local? It's hard to tell what's actually local and what's just called local. At Piggly Wiggly in Carthage, local means right here in Carthage. Here at Piggly Wiggly, local and freshness are two very important words. Freshness means a lot in your kitchen and local means a lot to our community. Supporting local because we are local. Piggly Wiggly, with a convenient location just off Highway 16 in the heart of Carthage. Shop local from your friends at Piggly Wiggly in Carthage. Boswell Media Sports. Well, we bring you back here as Leak Academy has had an outstanding first half in this ball game, a district ball game against East Rankin, and they lead it by 21-49-28. Here's your scoring summary of the first half. Leading all scorers, Henry Dabbs has a couple of uh, trays and then three baskets from the floor for 12. With eight points is Hagen Davis. He had added a couple of trays. Also with eight is Parker Thomas, all two-point field goals. Seven points by Gunner Scott, and Gunner was very active. Six points by Nick Sprayberry. 
And uh, three points by Gary Dunn in the ball game, five points by Thomas Strength. That's the scoring for L.A. Uh, only person with two fouls in the first half is Parker Thomas. For the Patriots of East Rankin, they've got a couple of kids tied with seven. Brody Riles with seven and also Preston Turnage with seven. Four points scored by Bulger, three points by White, three points by Vining, and two points by Woosterfeld. So those are your scoring in the first half. And we'd like to remind you that this is your Baptist Medical Center leak halftime report. And uh, I failed to, uh, we got in a little late. We uh, didn't, had to give you the starting lineups on the run and the starting lineups tonight brought to you by Moore's Pharmacy. So, uh, Let's uh, look ahead a little bit, and this is the Wendy's upcoming schedule. We'll be right back here on Thursday evening, 6 p.m., with uh, a girls and a boys matchup uh, against Winston Academy. That ball game was canceled from last Friday uh, because Winston had COVID issues and couldn't play, so uh, hopefully we'll get that ball game in on Thursday. Then on Saturday, a non-district foe, uh, Manchester out of Yazoo City comes in. Uh, junior high will start in that one at 1 o'clock, and our high school coverage will begin at approximately 3 p.m. in uh, those ball games. So that's the upcoming uh, schedule brought to you by Wendy's. And uh, remember, uh, well, after the ball game, Wendy's drive through is open. We'll be back after these words on Boswell Media Sports. Get control of your health care at your fingertips. Visit BaptistOneCare.org and sign up for MyChart to have personalized and secure online access to your health care needs. You can schedule appointments, send messages to your provider, view test results, request prescription renewals, pay your bill, and more. Sign up today. Baptist Memorial League, making your health care our number one priority. Wendy's famous 4 for 4 is heating up with the new spicy crispy chicken sandwich. The queen of spice is delivering that spicy chicken you love with lettuce and mayo between two deliciously soft buns. And yes, in classic 4 for 4 fashion, you can get all that spicy goodness with spicy or crispy nuggets, fries, and a drink to cool off, all for just four bucks. Is it getting hot in here? Or did Wendy's just deliver the hottest deal in fast food? We got you. Offer includes four-piece nuggets, junior frying value drink. Price participation may vary. Fires Furniture in downtown Philadelphia is your one-stop shop for GE appliances. Things have been a little uncertain during the COVID pandemic, but one thing that is certain is Buyers Furniture's commitment to continue providing you with dependable GE appliances. We are working hard to keep inventory of refrigerators, ranges, and washers and dryers. We are delivering to your door, and we can even send links or pictures if you don't feel comfortable coming to shop in person. The cords and hoses are included and already installed for you, so it's ready to go. Visit our website, call us at 656-1802, or or stop by and see us, serving you since 1953. Valentine's is for love, and the Briar Patch wants to help you make it uniquely special. Call today and pre-order to avoid the rush. 601-267-4110. That's 601-267-4110. The Briar Patch has fresh cut arrangements, beautiful roses, balloons, candles, jewelry, and many other gifts including snack baskets for your man. They also have changed their look. Go by today and see their farmhouse-style decor. Deliveries made in Leak County and the surrounding areas. The Briar Patch, Highway 16 West, just outside of Carthage. Boswell Media Sports. And we welcome you back here to Joy Shepherd Gymnasium, 49-28. Our halftime score still awaiting the return to the floor of East Rankin here. It'll be East Rankin basketball when we return to play. If you're just joining us, uh, we're only playing high school ball, boys ball game tonight. No girls action. Uh, East Rankin's girls team in quarantine due to COVID issues, so they cannot play. But uh, both the junior high teams, Leak Academy won both of the junior high games and lead this uh, high school boys game now 49-28 to 28 at the uh, intermission as we get ready to start this second half. The Patriots of East Rankin will have basketball possession. 
We'll get you the uh, starters on the floor for L.A. here in a moment. White with a basketball, waits for the defender to go by and then shoots it long, but uh, Nick couldn't, uh, Nick Sprayberry couldn't control it. It goes off his hands on the rebound and out of bounds and into the lobby. So East Rankin with another opportunity basket on the baseline, looks to the outside and gets it in. White now throws it long and uh, to no one and the Kemp runs it down now to Dunn Dunn uh, gonna commit the offensive foul he just uh, stuck that arm out a little bit tried to push his way in that's his first foul in the ball game Leak uh, didn't have a real good start in this ball game but uh, Came on really strong at the uh, latter part of the first and all the second quarter. Kemp behind the basket, back dribble and now loses it in traffic. And coming down with the basketball and pushing it into four court is turnage. He'll have to give it up. With we'll pass over to White, he'll set and shoot the three and hit it. JT White, his first basket from the floor, he had three field goals, three free throws rather. In the forecourt, Garrett Dunn handling the basketball. Now he'll drive the baseline and draw the foul. Looks like Woosterfield is going to pick up uh, his foul. That's two on Woosterfield. Dunn's free throw is good. And some substitutions come in. I didn't even get to, uh, let's see, Dunn, Sprayberry, Welch, and Kemp all go out. Dunn makes both free throws. So we got uh, on the floor now five new players. Davis, Parker, Thomas, Scott, Reed Young, and Strength on the floor with this five group. On three-point shot is no good off the front of the iron. And now from behind, Hagen Davis has it knocked away and stolen by East Rankin. They'll drive down the baseline, get all cut off, gets it over to Woosterfield, and he'll uh, leave it short on the front of the iron. L.A. comes away with a rebound. Strength goes over to Parker Thomas. Thomas working from the right side to the free throw line outside to Davis. Davis Gives it into the corner now for strength, and that one bounces a couple of times on the rim and won't go, and he's ranking with a rebound. Riles pushes into forecourt. Six minutes left here in the third quarter of tonight's ball game. This is a, a really uh, uh, big ball game for L.A. on the district race. Three-point basket from the left side is good by Riles, that's his third, uh, second uh, tray, and 10 points for him in the ballgame. Thomas driving, cutting in the lane, and lays it up with the left hand off the glass. Good. That gives Parker Thomas 10 as well. He's ranking with the ball out beyond the uh, arc. JT White drives to the elbow, now gives it up on the low block. A little turn back to the glass and lays it up and in. Bulger with his second basket. Strength gets the bounce pass, pushes it into four court. L.A. able to beat the pressure. Now to Reed Young who will fire. Boom! Yeah, the big guy, Reed Young with a three. His first basket. L.A. back up by 20, 56-36. And ball loose and shooting to get it is Davis and shot blocked, but Reed Young with a little floater is no good. Well, Turnage gets it into forecourt, going to go into the lane and uh, foul called. I don't, I don't know where that foul was. I think he just uh, started falling off, but uh, Young is going to pick up his second Young. A second foul for Reed Young. Turnage at the line, misses the free throw. So 
Second one on the way is good, so Turnage makes one of two from the free throw line. Long pass to Parker Thomas. He'll step back, shoot it up, rattle, 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 and goes. Shooter's touch. 21-point advantage for L.A., 4-10 in the third. White with the basketball, tries to give it back. It's tipped away by Davis into the hands of Scott, and he tries to uh, go up and maybe uh, dunk it or lay it in, but missed it. Now back to Scott. He misses that one. Davis got it, but threw it away into the hands of Turnage, and he'll lay it in. <coughs> L.A. against full court. Pressure ball tipped away and uh, going to be stolen, and a timeout is called, I think, by East Rankin. We'll be back after this word. A timeout on the floor. You're listening to L.A. Basketball on Boswell Media Sports. If you love sports, get in the game by getting in sports. In sports just off the square in Philadelphia puts you in the game with personalized jerseys and fan wear to support your favorite team. In sports has the cheer uniforms you're looking for as well as plaques and trophies. Looking for sports equipment? In sports has that too. In sports also believes in giving the best possible customer service with in-town deliveries. Be the fan you've always wanted to be with In Sports just off the square in Philadelphia. Boswell Media Sports. 58-39, L.A. with a nice lead here in the ball game. It'll be East Rankin basketball. Now they'll set to throw it in, do so. Going to give it on the wing, three-point shot up and no good. Battle for the rebound, Woosterfield, only one making a big effort to get it. Now a block shot by Dabbs, and coming out of there with it is Dunn. Dunn, bounce pass over to Sprayberry, has it deflected away, but uh, J.T. White can't control it, and it goes out of bounds back to Leak Academy. Dabbs set to throw it in on the uh, right at the L.A. bench, gives it to Kemp. Kemp, a little step back, and... Inside, drops it back out to Welch. Welch with a runner, can't get it to fall. And East Rankin comes away with Riles with the basketball. Now Welch picks his pocket from behind. And we got uh, the ball knocked over the end line by the trailing defender. Now they're going to give it to uh, – well, they changed it. Uh, going to give it to East Rankin now. One of the officials wondering what went on there and uh, made an emphatic call and then uh, backed away from it. Diagonal pass. Collected over there. Step back three pointer is no good. And again, Wooster fell with a long rebound. Put back off the rebound, no good. East Rankin controls another uh, rebound off the board. Drives inside, shot partially blocked, knocked around, knocked around, and East Rankin can't control it. It rolls across the sideline out of bounds. Wooster fell, couldn't control it. Number 32, Winston back into the ball game for the Patriots. Kemp gets pressure, goes and gets the basketball. He'll beat the defender in the forecourt, but has it knocked away. And it'll be L.A. basketball, as that one was knocked away from Kemp. Kemp going to toss it in on the baseline. Right side of the goal, and now cutting for the basket is Dunn. Nice pass, nice layup for the basket. Gary Dunn with a seven-point night so far. Drives down the lane, and uh, ball knocked loose and stolen away by Nick Sprayberry. 
In the fourth court is Kemp. Kemp gives it up to Whit Welch. Well, he, uh, in the uh, opinion of the official, uh, shuffled his feet. That's probably debatable. Sprayberry comes out. Scott going to check into the ball game with this group. So you got uh, Dab, Scott, Dunn, Welch, Kemp. That's the five on the floor right now for L.A. Uh, he walked, yeah. Took took two big steps. So it'll be L.A. basketball. East Rankin's Coach Goodman going to go to the bench. Bring in three substitutions into the floor. Backcourt throw in, finds Kemp. Uh, he's going to try to double team him at the half court line. He gives it out to Whit Welch for the long shot. No good. Battle for the rebound is East Rankin. Well, no one has scored uh, here in the last minute or two. Long three point shot won't go. And coming down with a rebound is Garrett Dunn. Flips it over to Kemp. Back to Dunn. He stands and works from the right side. Has it knocked loose, but Kemp commands the. Uh, Loose ball out to Whit Welch. He faked one way, went the other. Can't get the uh, shot to go down. Here comes East Rankin with numbers on the other end, three and one. But uh, Whit Welch racing back into the pitcher, gets the interception, long pass down to uh, Scott is intercepting. A little sloppy play by both sides. That's a travel for him as he uh, stepped back, but no call there. Here comes uh, Dunn, and he is going to be fouled going for the basket, and we'll go to the line for a couple here. Number 22, Vining picks up the foul. His first. Dunn lifts the free throw up and zips it through. Davis in for Whit Welch. Dunn makes both free throws. 19 seconds. 62-39. Going to shoot the long high arcing shot. It was an air ball. Henry Dabbs gets the rebound. Here comes L.A. Ooh, a hot pass and... Uh, too hard a pass and uh, led him toward the sideline out of bounds and uh, turnover by L.A. Had too much uh, zip on that one. Shot from the outside at the horn is good. And they got to say a three-point basket. So that'll be the end of the quarter. L.A. still leads it by 20, 62-42. Good effort by L.A. back after these messages on Boswell Media Sports. Brent's Oil Company has been supplying oil and lubricants for farmers and loggers for the last 60 years. They proudly carry a large variety of Sitco products. Hurry in today, purchase 50 gallons of any Sitco product, and receive a $5 Junction gift card. Prince Oil and Sitco, appreciate their loyal customers. Stop by and let Joy or Brad fill your order. Prince Oil Company, 150 Hospital Road, Philadelphia. Dr. Brooke Bobo and his staff at Carthage Veterinary Clinic wish you and your animals the very best. They treat all animals, large or small, with the care you would want for a member of your family. Carthage Veterinary Clinic provide for your sick or injured animals and also offer grooming and boarding as well. Located on Highway 16, Carthage Veterinary Clinic is open Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday from 7.30 until 5.30 and Wednesday and Saturday from 7.30 till noon. Boswell Media Sports. Well, as we go to the fourth and final quarter of tonight's action, L.A. will go in with basketball possession and a 20-point lead, 62-42. Waiting for East Rankin to come back out on the floor after the uh, second horn is sounded a moment ago. Dabbs triggers it in to Kemp. Now he'll give it to Dunn. Kemp from the outside. Rattles won't go. 
And it'll be L.A. basketball. They say it's off of number 11, turnage of the Patriots. Don't forget, we've got uh, basketball activity on Thursday against Winston, another uh, Kemp gets the ball back, another district ball game, I should say. To Dabbs on the right side for three is good. Henry Dabbs with his third trifecta, 65-42. Now East Rankin tries to answer, and it's an air ball, and uh, Dabbs tried to grab it. Instead of letting it go out of bounds, it'll be back to East Rankin. Well, if you just let it... Uh, Travel uh, just a little bit further, it would have been L.A. basketball. Flip outside. Handling the basketball, Taylor. Now top of the key. Now a wide pass, and it's going to be a turnover as they throw it past Vining and out of bounds. Kemp works and gets the ball in. Dunn going to fire off the iron. No good, but Kemp gets a uh, rebound carom. Now Kemp rattles it, won't go, and East Rankin with the basketball. Davis with that rebound for East Rankin. Three-point shot, no good. Nobody underneath the goal. Graham Scott controls it easily. L.A. into full court. And now a trip. Foul on East Rankin, number three. Taylor is going to pick up uh, his second foul. L.A. with basketball possession, 635 left in the ball game. They've uh, had a good ball game. Three-point basket by Hagen Davis is good. Well, they've hit the shots that they've needed to hit tonight, for one thing, and they've rebounded the ball pretty well as well. I like the... Uh, 10-player rotation that Coach Phil Shepard is working on. And uh, it seems like uh, all of them have played with a lot more energy by using the 10. East Rankin going to substitute a whole new team on the floor. Now they finally get it in. Up top, left side, drives into the lane, just inside of the free throw line, can't get it to go. Graham Scott battles and wins the rebound. Kemp dishes it off in the corner to Dunn. Dunn works to the elbow, a little reverse there, and uh, going to be a jump ball called on the block shot. East Rankin gets possession of the basketball, 5.50 to play. L.A. with a 26-point lead here in the ballgame. Flips it down on the low block back outside, and now we got a three-second call on East Rankin as number two, Riles, kind of got lost in the lane for a, a violation there. Kemp reverse dribble, gives it to Dunn. Dunn gives the hidden ball. Faken drives to the line and scores the basket. Comes up a little gimpy. But he's going to make his way down the uh, floor. 70-42 from the free throw line. Shot up, rattles, rattles, won't go. And Scott clears the boards for the Rebels. Under five minutes we go. Back outside, Davis with three. Off the iron, no good. 4.45 left in the ball game. A little stop jumper, no good. Dabs, offside, rebound, clear. L.A. in the full court. Kemp gives it on the wing to Dunn. He bluffs the shot, drives inside, goes in, has it partially blocked. He thought he got fouled. And uh, the player and the 
official run in the sideline get entangled. The ball goes out of bounds. It'll be a turnover back to Leak Academy. Patriots with uh, another five player rotation. That one's deflected out of bounds off the hands of Kemp. It'll be LA basketball baseline. LA looking to pick up uh, another district win here. It's been uh, a tough season, but uh, they seem to be playing much better now. And the ball off of Dab's hands, a little high, but uh, done there to control it. Little helter skelter, everybody on the floor all over the place. And now the ball tipped, but uh, East Rankin maintains possession. Three point basket, no good. Dabs above everyone else gets the rebound to Dunn. Dunn going to be uh, a blocking foul as he went for the basket. I believe that's 34. It's going to pick up the foul. Don't have him on my roster. <laughs> Gary Dunn at the line. He'll make the second. He's going to get a rest as Parker Thomas checks back into the ball game. Whit Welch also. Strength, Sprayberry, and Young. Five youngsters on the floor now for L.A. Three-point shot by East Rankin. No good. Nick Sprayberry uses his tall, skinny body to go up and rip down the rebound. Whit Welch drives the right side of the lane, rolls it off the glass, and good. Welch with the basket. 74-42, L.A. all over East Rankin in this district ball game. So it looks like L.A. is going to win all three ball games tonight, the junior high girls, junior high boys, and high school boys. Of course, if you're just joining us, uh, East Rankin's girls in a COVID quarantine couldn't play tonight. And Parker Thomas all the way down and lays it up and in from the right side. Parker Thomas has had a nice night tonight. And we got five new players checking in. Let's see uh, who we uh, got here. Number five is Seth Alford on the floor. 20 is uh, McCall. Shot on the way, no good. Coming down with a rebound is Sam Evans. Gives it off to Whit Welch, who is running the uh, point, and the pass goes through Evans's, excuse me, McCall's hands and out of bounds. It'll be a turnover. He's ranking three-point shot on the way from the right side. Is no good. Tapped outside, but uh, right into the hands of East Rankin. The shot. Goes in and out, rebound back to East Rankin. Missed shot, rebound again, shoots it over the goal. And it'll be off of Leak. And East Rankin continues to dominate and uh, pound that board here in this uh, part of the ball game. 76 42. LA with a big win here. That shot is no good, but another rebound by East Rankin. And that one is going to be. Uh, Partially touched, they say, by L.A. So a partial block goes out of bounds. They'll give it back to East Rankin here. Clock running with 115 here. Bounce it in down low and uh, another missed shot and another rebound. Another missed shot and now made is 23. Gets that one. Elijah Moore got the basket. Into the corner, shot on the way from Leak Academy off the back of the iron, no good. East Rankin gets the rebound. 76-44, 45 seconds to play. 
And ball knocked loose and into the hands of uh, McCall. He'll get it into forecourt. Jackson Freeney, three-point basket, no good. We'll talk about Jackson here in a moment. But bounce it outside. Whit Welch goes back up top. Now a shot from L.A. is no good again as uh, that miss is South Alford. 12 seconds. Long three-point basket, no good. Battle around, and uh, East Rankin comes up with it. And uh, that's going to be the ball game. Leak Academy wins it 76-44 to 44 in a very dominating fashion here. We're going to take a break, and we'll come back with the scoring options here following these messages on Boswell Media Sports. If you love sports, get in the game by getting in sports. In Sports, just off the square in Philadelphia, puts you in the game with personalized jerseys and fan wear to support your favorite team. In Sports has the cheer uniforms you're looking for, as well as plaques and trophies. Looking for sports equipment? In Sports has that too. In Sports also believes in giving the best possible customer service with in town deliveries. Be the fan you've always wanted to be with In Sports, just off the square in Philadelphia. Okay, sweetie, time to take your medicine. No, mommy, no. One quick call to Moore's Pharmacy will take the no out of mommy. Their flavor machine is magic for your little ones. It turns the no into yes. Okay, time for your medicine. Yes, mommy, yes, it's yummy. Moore's Pharmacy, always keeping you and your family first priority. Go visit today in Carthage, Walnut Grove, or Sebastopol to let your sweetie choose their favorite flavor. Follow them on Facebook, Moore's Pharmacy. Stay warm, but stay safe with that heater. A space heater provides temporary warmth in a limited area, but in proper use of a heater poses a fire risk. Turn it off when you leave the area and never go to sleep with a space heater on. Think safety. Central Electric Power Association, serving you since 1937. This institution is an equal opportunity provider and employer. Prince Oil Company has been supplying oil and lubricants for farmers and loggers for the last 60 years. They proudly carry a large variety of Sitco products. Hurry in today, purchase 50 gallons of any Sitco product, and receive a $5 Junction gift card. Prince Oil and Sitco, appreciate their loyal customers. Stop by and let Joy or Brad fill your order. Prince Oil Company, 150 Hospital Road, Philadelphia. Boswell Media Sports. And we'll bring you back here post game. A very nice win for Coach Phil Shepard and his Rebels tonight as they finish the ball game 76 to 44 is our final score. Our uh, scoring summary: Parker Thomas with the uh, leading scorer in the ball game. He had 14, 12 points from Henry Dabbs tonight. He uh, did a great job rebounding as well. Hagen Davis with 11, and also Garrett Dunn with 11. So L.A. puts four in double figures. Seven points for Gunnar Scott, six points for Nick Sprayberry, five points for Thomas Strength, and Reed Young adds three to the well tonight. Uh, I think I missed Whit Welch. He had four. And on the other side, uh, only two players in double figures for East Rankin. That's Riles with 10 and also Turnage with 10. So that's your scoring summary here. And it's time for our in sports player of the game. And we're going to go with uh, Parker Thomas tonight as our player of the game with his 14 points in the ball game, leading score and also a lot of hustling defense. So uh, good job here by the Rebels. And I really like the 10-player uh, rotation really on the – with the uh, five starting and then you bring in another five and he's kind of got them split up to where uh, you still got uh, scores and rebounders on both units. So they uh, they play with a lot of energy tonight and congratulations to the Rebels on the win. And I am not sure how this uh, – cancellation of the girls match uh, the game tonight is uh, considered. I don't know if it's a forfeit to the Rebels, uh, Lady Rebels or not, but uh, we'll try to find out at some point in time. But uh, uh, of course, LA's girls team is, uh, I think it's 17 and two on the season and the number three 
team in the state. So a lot of good basketball coming up by both of them. Hopefully we'll keep old COVID uh, at bay here and get uh, all these games in. And again, our upcoming schedule by Wendy's remind you that uh, we'll play again on Thursday evening right here from Joe Shepard Gymnasium. Should have, uh, should have all uh, four of the games, both junior high and both the girls and boys uh, high school games. The junior high, of course, starts at 4 o'clock, uh, and we'll have coverage of the high school game starting at approximately 6 p.m. So join us right here on uh, L.A. Basketball on Boswell Media Sports and, of course, on our stream, which is uh, brought to you by Prince Oil and the Junction. So uh, we'll be back with uh, all of it on Thursday evening and then also on Saturday afternoon. Junior high will start at 1, so we'll be on the air at approximately 3 o'clock with high school action against Manchester Academy out of Yazoo City. That's, of course, a non-district uh, game, so uh, that's coming up for the rest of this week. So we uh, certainly uh, thank you for joining us and thank the, the sponsors for uh, so uh Nicely uh, providing the coverage here for us in L.A. basketball. Well, that'll uh, wrap us up here on the Central Electric Power Association post game. And again, our player of the game and sports player of the game. Tonight's ball game goes to Parker Thomas. Well, uh, for Evan Miles, for Billy Steen, I'm Melvin Wooten thanking you for joining us. And uh, we'll see you again on Thursday night right here from Joe F. Shepard Gymnasium. This has been Leak Academy Basketball on Boswell Media Sports. Good night, everyone.